What's up guys, Nolan here, and that live stream that BSG was doing eventually led to the launch of the Arena website. There's no gameplay yet, but we have dates, prices, and lots of information that we didn't have before, so let's break it down. The price of the base games have increased 5 to $10, with the base game being 50 now, and EOD being 150 What's interesting is EOD says there will be another price increase in 138 days, which we are actually assuming is the wipe day and also the actual launch of Arena, as it will be in included in EOD. Because Arena is going to be included in EOD, we are assuming they are increasing the price of EOD, so that is why we are assuming that that is the launch for Arena. So that is the date in this equation. However, I think it's very possible that we get Arena much sooner, but we'll see. As of right now, 138 days puts us on December 22nd. Arena has a single package available where if you don't own Escape from Tarkov, you can buy this for $35 and you're all set. That is Arena. You're going to be able to be you know, play that. And you're also going to have the Rizzy loadout, which we'll talk about in a little bit. There is this region version thing that's a bit weird. Just make sure that you buy the version for the region that you are currently living in. Check out the options for it and make sure you're doing the right thing. The price will go up and down a few dollars, depending. I don't know if that's a tax thing or what. Anyway, this version gets you the Rizzy loadout, which also buffs your money earned by 10%. This is leading me to believe that there will be lots of character specific loadouts with their own buffs, but we'll see. When you log into the arena website, you will see for your yourself that if you own EOD, you will already own the Rizzy edition of Arena and you're good to go. That seems to be the only edition of Arena at the moment. When you scroll through the main page of the website, you'll see a ton of information, including stuff that we didn't have before. The game is described as, quote, bets are made, play the competitive PvPVE FPS with tactical team modes. EFT Arena perfectly combines the hardcore mechanics of Escape Tarkov and fast-paced gameplay of session matches, end quote. Well, at least the title there says bets, but it didn't seem to describe it. The betting system, which BSG have said is going to be a thing, seems to be included in this, but maybe they forgot to make a point about it. Not sure what's going on there. Next, it says, quote, equipment ready, choose rating and role presets for equipment, depending on the rank of the player and the chosen role, end quote. We've seen a lot of this before and it shows assault, CQB, scout and sniper for those roles. No more marksman, apparently, that might have been folded into the scout role. This next one is important as it says, quote, two games, one character. Win games and your character's level, skills, and weapon mastering will grow in both EFT Arena and Escape from Tarkov and vice versa. So that is confirmation that you will not need to go into customs on day one of the wipe anymore. You can just head to Arena, apparently. Now that is as long as it's available to access instantly. It's possible it isn't. Actually, you know what? As, of, as I'm reading this, I would say it, it's likely it isn't. According to the lore, this is something that you kind of fall into. And we can even see it in Chronicles of Rizzi. But no matter what what it seems like you're still leveling up in arena when you're not playing arena and it sounds like when you're playing arena you're leveling up in the base game so once you gain access you're all set to level from there if you're only using arena that's apparently including skills and your weapon mastering too now what i'm hoping here is that this is a temporary description on this website as what i mean by that is the two games one character is actually kind of bad if it's not because those of you who have been following the news over the years will know that the plan right now is at launch there will be a persistent server that never wipes where you're going to have a bear and a USEC. Then there's going to be a periodical wipe server where you also have a bear and a USEC, meaning four accounts in total and a system everybody will find a way to enjoy whether they want wipes or not. So unless this is temporary in terms of this description, as we've only got the one character right now, this may be BSG accidentally telling us there will not be a periodical wipe server set up at launch, which would be kind of devastating to a lot of people, myself included there. I really want that periodical wipe server and I will be getting clarification on this from BSG as soon as possible. Next it says rank matters, earn rating in ranked games and play against opponent of equal skill. So there's the rank mode with the skill based matchmaking which was to be expected with a game like this. Next it says big arsenal, use weapons, mods, medicine and other items from Escape Tarkov. So it basically says everything in the base game is also here probably apart from the random loot for the hideout and tasks I imagine. Just stuff around combat. Maybe a couple valuables or something to spice things up a bit. It quickly talks about the Rizzy edition and calls it a unique gear set which again i bet there will be more to come in terms of unique gear sets from different characters it'd be cool if we could even have boss loadouts it then describes the game modes with shootout team fight overrun last hero and duel shootout sounds like a game of csgo but no objective while team fight sounds like a game of csgo with objectives overrun is a pve with five players taking on waves of enemies to evacuate and that will include bosses i imagine we saw a bit of that in the chronicles of rizzi then we have last hero which sounds like it could either 
either be a free for all or a battle royale sort of thing. It says death match between multiple players. The goal of each player is to score the most kills in the allotted time. I'm leaning more towards a free for all with that, but I don't think they're doing respawns, so maybe not. We'll see. Then it says duel, but you can't click it. I'd have to imagine that's 1v1, maybe 2v2, and 3v3. We'll have to wait and see. I don't know why that's something that they would gray out. That seems very straightforward and something that you can easily describe. So maybe it's blocked by mistake. I'm not sure. Then last but not least, we have the maps with Sawmill being the woods location, Bay 5 being the shipping docks from Contract Wars and Hired Ops, an iconic location for those games. Air Pit with the airport terminal. We've seen those in the trailers as well as Equator, sorry, Equ uh, Equator, the shopping mall. We've also seen in the trailers. There's three other maps that are grayed out with the bowl, the box, and resort. Resort is self-explanatory. I'd have to bet that that's resort and shoreline. The bowl, I also bet, is the stadium map that we saw a while back with a Nikki leak. It was a stadium with shipping containers and sandbags. The box could be anything. Let me know what you guys think. So unfortunately, nothing kinetic yet in terms of us being all, you know, able to play. But we got a lot of good things to look forward to. Gamescom is still going. And it's going to be going on for a few more days with people being able to play there. We got confirmation that it's not going to be the public. You're going to need an appointment to be able to go and play if you are going to a location. If you're going to Gamescom, you're not going to be able to play unless you have an appointment to play. But BSG are sharing pictures here and there. I'd say expect to see more from them. And I will, of course, report anything that they, you know, talk about if they do. You'll find the minute by minute information on my Twitter and Discord, both linked below. But that's all for now, guys. Like the video if you did, sub for more, comment what you think, and check out my other channels for other games right here, including long form content on my second channel where I reacted to all of this information for the first time. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a nice day. See you guys.